it's his decision, but he needs to come forward now, I think. I know his survival instinct has kicked in, and I know he saw what happened to Philip Schofield, but my God, look at the damage to the BBC. Look at the damage to his friends, yeah. to those falsely accused. And the longer he leaves it, the worse it will be for him. Do you feel, I mean, you, you know, you talk to the staff at the BBC, do they feel let down by the fact he hasn't stepped forward? I think, yeah, I got a lot of people supporting. I, I tweeted that basically last night about, about him, that I, th I do think, this is my tweet, I, I thought about this very carefully before I sent it. I know the individual concerned. I am very worried about his state of mind and what this is doing to him. I haven't spoken to him, but I gather from somebody who has that he is described as angry mm -hmm. and keen to play it long. Mm -hmm. Now, to me, that means that he wants to be anonymous for as long as possible, but the thing is, hoping that he can one day walk it back into the building and start the whole I thing. I think this, is, this Go on. is the issue here, actually, which is that, you know, we don't know, obviously, whether or not a crime is being committed. What we do know is that there has clearly been a, a powerful person who basically thinks they can get away with a lot of things that are, if not illegal, then certainly morally very questionable. And I think that comes down to a culture of impunity and a lack of accountability among quite powerful people, actually, yes, in the media, but also across a lot of our institutions, because this seems to be a prevailing theme when all of these things, things come out. And this, what you've just said, seems to suggest that that is true, that this person basically thinks they're above, you know, being held to account for their actions. Well, they, it may be more complicated than that. They, they may be in some sort of terrible crisis where they're unable to judge what's right and what's wrong anymore. I don't but know. That's why anyway.